Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different video. I'm going to be comparing controller to keyboard and mouse on the Hunter Call of the Wild to see which one is actually better. So we're going to start off here on PC, as you can see from like my mouse on the map and from my zeroing being Z, that to see if actually it is easier to kill more deer on PC compared to on controller. So I'm going to try to see how many whites I can get here. Uh, probably only going to get two before they actually spook. And then also I might go over a couple tips that I found uh, for getting more than one animal. So I'm going to wait for one of them to put their head down, which is something that is very easy to do and actually takes a lot longer. There was actually two relatively easily here on keyboard and mouse, and that's one thing that actually helps a lot is waiting for one of the deer to put their head down. And I found that it's more helpful on um, controller than it is on PC. So right here are these white tail. This one is a 213 gold. So pretty decent, and as you can see, I did get a double lung shot there at 150 meters. So I will also try to keep the range just about the exact same when comparing, because that way they're not spooking later or earlier. So about 150 and 170, as you can see. So I don't really know, probably about 150 to 160 is where I'm going to get up to these white on to test out the controller. Okay, so we are about... Uh, 140 uh, meters here and so I actually am on a PS4 controller um, as you can see from this little thing here and the zeroing being RB for some reason it says the uh, controls of a Xbox controller uh, this isn't an Xbox controller but either way I'm going to try to get two of them and I'm going to wait for one to put its head down um, not really too worried about bucks but I'm going to see um, if I can get more than one and, you know, really, the main thing that I've noticed after switching to PC is it's not even the controls of the controller as much as the sensitivity based on the way that the controllers are set up in this game. You can't actually get, like, after the recoil, for example, uh, you, um, like, can't get your scope down as fast as you can on a mouse because as you can see it's a lot harder here to try to hold your breath and then get it back on target where on a mouse when you do shoot you can get it right back you know in relatively quick times so that's the one thing that i've noticed that is holding controller back for a lot of things she got some more white tail over there but here is this buck that we got and that is not what i meant to press how do i Look at the shot placement. For some reason, it keeps taking me to the true score. I don't know. I'm just going to go on my mouse for this. But a pretty decent shot there on that barely gold white tail. Um, but I don't think we actually got that doe. Uh, I think it actually did die, but it definitely was not a good shot. Uh, yeah, it did end up dying, but definitely was not vital. So I'm just going to consider that one one buck for controller and two bucks for pc here we go this is like the worst setup we've had yet like i don't know why for some reason all these ducks uh, can't seem to land they all just spook by the time i even can start recording so here we go we are on pc right now I'm going to see how many i can get apparently looks like maybe five maybe six and I can't get out of this blind here. Now, one of the main things about uh, small game hunting on PC compared to controller is actually on PC, you can, like, while in aim mode, take the scope on and off, which really does help when a bird maybe is flying towards you and you have to take the scope off while it's over your head or something like that because that's something that I found helps a lot and is why I can make a lot more shots on small game animals. Now, it does look like we got five ducks right there. 
And now we are going to wait for some more to land and then test it on controller. So we are here on a uh, controller this time and it is so hard to spot on controller because you actually have to click the button every time and on PC you can just hold it. But here we go. Let me try to put the scope on here and shoot some ducks. Looks like we got three there, maybe two. And then out of the air, it's just a complete mess. Like, just trying to get the aim close. Even after 3,000 hours actually on controller, I still struggle to try to take things, you know, when they're flying because the recoil is so bad. And we didn't even hit this one, really. Um, I don't even know how that counts. And then here we got a, looks like a female. A female golden eye. And that was actually only two of them. So that's even worse than I thought it would be. Uh, so it looks like PC is definitely better for the small game. But now what I think I'm going to do is head over to my fallow grind. And grind one full run of about 10 to 15 kills. So basically what I was going to say, uh, I didn't end up doing. But basically I ended up going and doing one rotation of fallow deer and counting how many kills I got in that rotation and see how many shots I missed vitals on rather than actually doing uh, how many I get per rotation because that can vary just a little bit. Okay, so after a full run for me in game on my fallow deer run, I got I ended up killing uh, 13 deer in about just under seven minutes and I did miss two shots. So Two out of 13 shots were bad, and um, 11 out of 13 shots were good. Um, not necessarily shots, but deer that were uh, close enough for me to claim, I should say. Like, if I non-vital them, I don't pick them up. Um, now, this one was actually a pretty bad run, and that was on PC. So now I'm going to go do the exact same thing, but this time on controller. So it's been a... About almost nine minutes, so about three minutes more, and these ones I actually did shoot already, and I don't know what this bug is. It's a bug. It's been there forever. I hate it. Um, and I got actually about ten deer, um, so I did get one less, and I only did mess up one deer. So basically, I did actually do better off with a controller. But the only thing that I can't do with the controller, which I will try to do here, which um, is actually something that I use all the time, is as you can see right here, if I go for a shot in the intestines, it's very difficult to try to get back on the animal to get a follow-up shot before it runs again. Like that's something that is very difficult where on PC I can do it, or I should say on keyboard and mouse, I can do it quite easily. And now I'm not gonna go claim this deer because, as you can see, it's way out from where I'd even go claim. So, I will show you very quickly what I can do, um, how it's different on keyboard mouse, and one of the reasons that I get a lot of extra shots in. Okay, so here I am here on PC now, at the exact same zone, I just uh, changed the time. So I'm going to actually alert this level 3 right here. And I did actually have to use the Hyperion scope on controller instead of the Argus scope because it is so much more difficult to get those shots quickly. So once he goes broadside, kind of like, well, I guess I could do this here. So as you can see, right, when he's on his way down, I can easily, and when he turns around, I can just get those shots in that I can't get on controller, which is is more helpful than you would ever imagine. Just being able to get that extra shot in right there is what actually has been helping me quite a bit um, get a lot of kills down. And I didn't, for some reason, get as many uh, zones with two deer in the zone as I did when I was grinding on PC for that one rotation around. But basically, after all of the kind of, I guess, tests that I did, it is significantly easier on keyboard and mouse, but you also do have to consider the fact that I have been playing games, every game possible, um, that accepts keyboard and mouse um, 
for about three years. So I was, I'm very comfortable with the keyboard and mouse, whether I'm actually playing Call of the Wild or not, or if I'm just playing um, other games similar. So um, I would say that keyboard and mouse is definitely easier. But if you've never played on a keyboard and mouse, I could see how you could prefer a controller like some people. But I think that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.